think one of the big things we can say about the show is that it's one of the few comedy programmes, if not the only comedy programme, who has really delivered us a Prime Minister. And with Paul Merton tonight is a Daily Telegraph journalist who last year took a month off to spend some time on his own. He stood as a Conservative candidate in Wales, <laughs> Boris Johnson. I remember ringing Ian to say, oh, we've got this journalist who seems pretty funny, Boris Johnson doing it, and Ian said, ah, the jackal. And you get what? And so Ian told us about this phone call that Boris had been involved in, which I must admit I didn't know about. The conversation was along the lines of uh, Darius, um, or Darius, I never went to school with anybody called that, uh, a conversation about whether Boris could get a journalist beaten up um, for some story that uh, Mr Guppy didn't like. We constructed an odd one out about taped phone conversations uh, to give Ian the opportunity to just bring up the subject. I'm surprised you gave me this one. Why? Because Boris was caught on tape as well. Ha, 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 ha. Richard Comic, yes, I say, I say, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> I said it was written a good point. Yeah. <laughs> he said, ha, 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 richly comic, mm. which it jolly well was. <laughs> what were you recorded saying? I you know, honestly, I don't remember. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Boris was on tape talking to Darius Guppy. His a very great man. I don't want to be totally stitched up here. I... <laughs> <laughs> what you want and what you don't I... want... <laughs> I'm way out of my depth here. I've been totally stitched up. I want it on the record. I, I walked straight into a massive elephant trap. I should have spotted it. <laughs> Boris was completely furious. He was always cross. He always thought um, that uh, I, in particular, uh, was out to get him. Um, which, you know, is fair enough. No, 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 no. We He's can't have that stuff. Sort of stuff. Nudge, will you, Ian? <laughs> I have to say, sort of very early on from when we were trying to book guest hosts, Boris was kind of the one I really wanted to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, hello. Good evening and welcome to Have I Got News For You. In the news this week, undiscovered footage from William Hague's school days supports his claims that he used to drink 14 pints a night. <laughs> I think the narrative that um, Have I Got News For You made Boris is just a total misreading of what happened. The joke about Boris was that this man can't even run a panel show. He literally couldn't get the cards in order. He had no idea who anything was or who anyone was. He was a joke. Paul. Paul. No, Paul. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted Basil Brush. <laughs> OK, I wanted Basil Brush. <laughs> It's, it's, I'm, not, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we haven't got him. <laughs> he was so funny. I think he was actually funnier on it than I was. Absolutely right. Uh, give that man. <laughs> give that man a coconut. He said there give an the man a what? A coconut or whatever the yes. prize you get. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you know, Boris hasn't really changed his act since he was presenting Have I Got News For You, to be fair. Whether or not we can supply coconut or not, I don't know, but I'll tell you exactly... So, hang on a minute, after, you're, off, you're offering coconuts, <laughs> and yet you have not... You, there's no facility to you're give me a coconut. You're promising something you can't right. deliver, which is what you accuse the Labour Party <laughs> of. You look at these broadcasts that he does with the two team captains at either side of him, it's exactly the same thing on the virus. <laughs> Boris was a star. He wasn't a particularly well-known politician, but he was a personality. He was a character. From the, the, the party that keeps its promises. <laughs> There's a lot about Boris which makes him a really good comedy entertainer. That is the job he should have been employed to do. They are Boris Johnson for Have I Got News For You. <laughs> People are surprised when I tell them, but one year he was nominated for a BAFTA for um, Best Performance in an Entertainment Programme. And uh, you could see he was very keen to win the award. Jonathan Ross for Friday Night with Jonathan Ross. When Boris became Prime Minister, I think there was sort of like 
Some journalistic outlets who were desperately trying to turn this into the story of Have I Got News For You has made Boris Johnson Prime Minister. If you look at the history of the show, nearly everybody who's been on more times than Boris became Prime Minister. <laughs> Ken Livingston, yeah. <laughs> Charles Kennedy, yeah, absolutely. If you're going to blame someone, you can blame the voters, which I do, um, or you can blame the system. I mean, I didn't vote Boris in. I thought he was absolutely unsuitable and unfit for any office. The whole of London, Europe's biggest electorate, votes Boris in twice, so don't blame us. 